Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of creating graphs for equations. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we see we have a sample problem here. Desiree wants to save up for some Fortnite V-Bucks. She starts with $1 and she saves $3 a week. So what we need to do is write an equation to show how much money she'll have at the end of W weeks. So that's going to be our unknown. And let's start by just making a table. Let's figure out what we know first to try to figure out whether this is an additive or multiplicative relationship. So let's just keep track of our weeks over here. So at the end of zero weeks, that means before she even starts saving, how much money does she have? And she actually starts with $1. And then at the end of one week, she's going to add three. So that's going to be a total of $4. Then at the end of two weeks, she's going to add three again. And that's going to be $7. At the end of three weeks, she's going to add three again, $10, and so forth. If we put this information on a bar graph, you see it over here on the left. So we're starting with our W, our number of weeks. That's going to be the x-axis. And then the amount of money that Desiree has each week, that's going to go vertical. That's going to be the y-axis. And we're trying to write an equation. But the problem here is when we're making our table, we're plotting our points, you see that our numbers go up, but we need to first think about, is this an additive or a multiplicative relationship? And to do that, we need to look side to side. Don't worry about the plus threes. That's just going to help us get our information for the table. We're needing to look side by side. And you notice that if we're going side by side, we can't necessarily look at additive relationship here because that would be a plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. You notice how it's not the same constant, so that means we're looking at what we call a multiplicative relationship. We are actually multiplying something by the W to get to our dollars every single week. So let's take a look at it. It's going to be in this form, y equals kx. So let's see if we can figure out what that means. Our x here is our independent variable. And so that's going to be the number of weeks. Our y here, that's what we're looking for. That is our dependent variable, and that's the money. And that's what we're looking for here. So our x is going to be our constant. What are we multiplying by our weeks? And that's going to be the $3 a week. Now, the only change that we need to make here is that she started with a dollar. So we're just going to add one to whatever our product is here. So let's see if this works. Y equals 3W plus 1. Whereas our W here is going to be these numbers here, our weeks, and our y is going to be our dollars. Let's see if this works. So let's put in our first number here. y equals 3. At the zero week, we had zero weeks plus 1. So y equals 1. Yep, that works. Let's see if we could do it again with this uh, three-week term here. y equals 3 weeks times $3 a week plus 1. So that's going to simplify to 9 plus 1. Does y equals 10? Yes, y equals 10. We see it here on the graph as well. So what happens though if we start from a graph and we need to create an equation? Take a look at this graph over here. You see that the slope is much shallower. And if we start just making a little table of some of these points here, you'll see here that when x is 0, y is 4. When x is 1, y just bumps up 1. When x is 2, it goes up to 6. And so it's not really increasing. Every single time it's increasing by 1 if you're looking up and down. But remember, when we're writing an equation, we look side to side. We look at the relationship between the x and the y. And you see that this is a plus 4, this is a plus 4, this is a plus 4. So this is actually what we call an additive relationships. And additive equations have much shallower slopes. So this is going to be y equals x plus b. So this b is our constant. So all we're doing is we're taking our x and we're adding 4. And that's going to get us our y every time. 